I'm in the northern Bridgers on an east facing slope below the throne at about 7,800 feet. And just did a couple extended calm tests, got the break and propagate down here deep in the snowpack. There's also weak layers just underneath last week's new snow. As we get farther and farther out from last week's snowstorm, the danger is going to start coming down. The likelihood is going to start decreasing. It's going to get harder and harder to trigger an avalanche deep in the snowpack here. The problem is, if you do trigger a slide, still going to be large, still going to be potentially deadly. So just keep it mellow. Don't step out too quickly as the danger starts to trend down. Now, we dug a snow pit here. We also dug a snow pit about 30 feet away where my skis are over there, where the snow packs half as deep. I really would have expected that snow pit to have more unstable snow in that thinner snow pack. We didn't get anything to break in that uh, snow pit over there. I'm not 100% sure why, but it's just a good reminder of why we don't want to bet our lives on the results of snowpack tests in one snow pit. Use the snow pit to help you as motivation to back off slopes, but never as a reason to get onto a slope that doesn't make sense in the bigger picture of what's been going on uh, with the weather and recent avalanches and other factors.